All right, time for the math. Easy solution to discuss. Uh, well, graphing Google search, but this time 3D graphing, uh, 3D or multivariable graph. I just found this out. It's actually quite amazing. Uh, well, this is part three of this Google search series of graphing with that I had a couple of other videos on regular graphing a while ago. But basically, um, what I mean by this is, if you have a function that says z is equal to f of x and y, so it's a function of two variables. An example would be, let's say, z is equal to cosine x plus cosine y. Yeah, so here you have uh, basically three variables, and then with z is a function of these two variables. So let's say at x equals 0, equals, let's say y is equal to 0, so then all equals 0, then you're going to have put, put 0 in here, cos 0 is equal to 1, cos 0 is equal to 1, so z is equal to 2. So basically, when you were to, if you were to graph something like this, it would be like, well, you're going to have three axes. You're going to have the z axis here, so it's going to be a 3D function. Z, this is Y, so you just put a random one there. X, so at 0, this is 0 Y, 0 X, you're gonna have, it's going to be 2 here. And, and so on, you can uh, graph it, it might look something like, it's probably going to be something like this. So you're going to have a, basically a plane function, like this. So it, it would look basically... Um, like a sheet or something and it would go extend infinity, something like this, I'm not sure it is, but with the Go uh, graphing calculator, I'll just pull it out. Yeah, so basically if you go to Google, just all you could do is just write cos x plus cos y. That's all you gotta do and then you're gonna get a pretty cool graph and there's a, and it's an animation as well that keeps going like this, you could stop it. Uh, you could basically, this is zooming in and out, you can move it around. As basically, this zoom is uh, zoom in as the, how the, just zoom the picture in. But then, if you want to zoom in the axis, right now these are the axis. It's from x is less than ten to ten, y is less than ten to ten, or z is between these. You could uh, click this one, so you're gonna have a different zoom in. So you you change what these axes are. All you can do is just scroll the wheel. Uh, just you could either yeah, if you have a mouse, just scroll the wheel and and whatnot. Yeah, so basically, yeah, this looks pretty ridiculous, and you can also go press play. It's going to move around, so you're going to see it. You're going to see that. So basically, yeah, there's three axes, me moving it. But this is quite amazing, and you could do a anything. You, you could graph anything you want. You just go y plus, uh, um, let's, go z let's go y plus z. It doesn't, doesn't matter what two variables are. Actually, I guess it does. y plus x. And this is this is basically because uh, if you have a y equals uh, x line, then this is a line, but this is gonna be a plane. So basically, it's gonna like a, a sheet. That's how it should look like. Zoom in and out. Let's move it around. So basically, that's the graph of that one. If you were to get let's say y plus or sine x, now this one's pretty cool. This is like um, basically a sine plane. Or a curve, sine curves everywhere, but following the basically y equals x line. So it's diagonal line like that. And zoom in and whatnot. Or you could click on this thing and zoom in the, the axis. So, and then you'll get something like this. Zoom out. Okay, that's something like that. It's pretty damn sweet. You could click this to go back original zoom. It goes back there. Or change it and whatnot play well that's uh that's all for today i just found out about this i don't know i think this is something google has that it's new it's pretty damn amazing well thanks for uh watching so yeah look something like that i'll look into more multivariable calculus and whatnot later but this is just a this quick note that you could do this on google search is getting quite powerful well thanks for uh watching and hopefully learn and stay tuned for another mad easy solution